prophesy over you uh, tonight too. So as you get on, let me know where you're watching from and uh, let me know how I can pray for you because I'm going to pray for you tonight too. Um, anyway, so hello everyone. Hello, hello. I, I've, um, I'm on Facebook. So if you're watching on Facebook, Press your share button, and I'm also on YouTube. YouTube, so hello, um, Andrea and Virgil. Uh, if you are on YouTube, make sure that you press subscribe so that you can know when we're going to go live. Um, but I thought I would sing Psalm 11 over you. This is a great Psalm of David, and it is. When David was, uh, when, when he was serving in Saul's palace and his friends, they started seeing that Saul had great hatred towards David. And so they started saying, uh, run, flee like a bird, run and hide, just run and hide. And David sang out Psalm 11 to steady his heart and he said I have made the Lord my hiding place I'm going to stay right here this is where he is this is where I'm going to stay and uh, it, Psalm 11 is is absolutely beautiful so anyway hello let me know where you're watching from we have Miami Florida and India I love it we have Arkansas, and then on Facebook, um, and Joseph, tell Isaac to stop calling me because people always try and call, and I'm on here. We have Barbara Stone from Sacramento and Mississippi, Catherine and Carla, and Melody, I love it, and Barbara, some of your names I know, and Riff, R Rifka, hello, my friend, and Jill, and Melanie, all right. So I like to say that I believe the right people get on at the right time to hear the right psalm. And so I just want to sing Psalm 11 over you tonight and just let these words wash over your mind. 
mind, uh, your heart. I love Hebrews 4. It says, for the word of God is alive and full of living power. So even as I sing these words, they're going to wash over your busy life. Uh, If you like the psalm, you can actually check out our online worship community, which is intotheriver.net, or you can actually just put your name in that little uh, where it says, do you want 10 hours of free worship? Uh, just You can respond with your email. And also, I'm so excited because I have a brand new book, which is called 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. It's the first 30 psalms. And we have a brand new CD, which I'm so excited. It's called Psalm Diaries. And I'm just singing through Psalm 1 through 5. And anyway... Just to get the psalms in us, these are how, the psalms are how David fought his battles. And if they worked for David, they most assuredly will work for you and me. So here's Psalm 11, and David writes, fly away like a bird. I 
its name. It's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. He said, I am the one, I am. I believe that it's, is it Y, how do I say that, Y-V-A-N-A, -A? and is it Virgil, I believe it, I, I believe it's Julie Bexom, and Brittany, and, oh good, I'm so glad, and Lee, and Leanne, it, hey everybody, if you're getting on, I'm Julie Meyer, and I'm just singing Psalm 11 over you tonight, a Psalm of David. If you have any, if any type of fear is hitting at you, um, if you are getting encouraged to do one thing and inside your soul, you're like, no, I, I'm supposed to stay right here, then this is your Psalm. It was a Psalm that David wrote to steady his heart before God and just stay right where he was and trust God in the place where he was. It's a very, very, very powerful song. Uh, if you are just getting on, press your share button. If you are on Facebook, and I like to say don't scroll and roll because I want to sing over you, pray over you. And again, every, every word I'm singing is from the Bible. So these words, they go out. They, they, you know, the Holy Spirit, these, I believe these words go out. They have creation on them. They have the strength of the Lord on them. And they actually, I mean, just to sing the word of God, I believe we are strengthened. Because the, it's just the power of the word. Because the word of God is alive. And if there's any... If there's anyone that has fear, you know, hitting you, this is the psalm to sing that will dissipate fear and build up faith. And it's not just faith when everything's going well. What David writes is that, so I turn my eyes to the Lord and this is faith, even in the chaos. This is faith, and I have confidence in the times of testing because it's in the times of testing that I see your face. And I decree that over you, Carmen, and Tony, and Michelle, and Lydia, and, um, and I know some of you are on YouTube, so I'm kind of going back and forth. Autumn Brooke, oh, I remember prophesying over you. Uh, anyway, tonight I'm singing Psalm 11. If you're on YouTube, hello, YouTubers, and press subscribe so you know when I'm on. Um, if I don't, I, I will pray for everybody. If I don't call your name out, I most certainly will pray for you um, when I'm done. But I just uh, wanted to just sing Psalm 11 over you. And I want to give you this chorus. Because this was a chorus that David sang out. And he sang, it's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. I am the one with the steadfast heart, and this is my song. And we can strengthen ourselves just like David strengthened his very own heart. And I love this. So I lift my eyes to the Lord, and here is faith. And confidence in times of testing, it's right here I see your face, O oh God. And I have made the Lord my own. Hiding 
It's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. It's the song. It's the song of the steadfast heart. And this is my song. I am the one. I am the one. I am with the steadfast heart. And this is my song. It's how I want you to sing that. You can put your own melody to it. This is how David strengthened himself in very when his life, when his life depended on it, David sang his meditations over his heart and mind and soul. And then he put his life story in his meditations and his meditations would have been from the Torah. And then we have these beautiful Psalms. And I believe if we put our story in the middle of these Psalms, that's what we're doing. We're doing the same thing that David did. And it's impossible for the word of God to go, not to go forth and strengthen. So I believe that the Lord is touching you tonight, um, and you go, I don't know, uh, yeah, Victoria, Lord Jesus, I see that, so hello, is it Sabina and Angela, um, and so Angela, I just, and you're on YouTube, I just, I just give you Psalm 11, and um, I just break off fear in Jesus' name, and I just give you Psalm 11, and I pray this over you, Angela, that the very strength and peace and hope and courage that came upon David in his life, I pray that that by singing and say it, pray it, write it down and sing it out by those four ways, I, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just Build up a a hedge of protection all around Angelina in Jesus' name that she would be strengthened from the inside out, have boldness and courage. And you know what, Angelina? Just even saying your name, it's just like I see those angels from Psalm 91 literally coming around you to bear you up in their hands to guard in all your ways lest you trip on a rock. They're they're guarding, they're protecting. But I just believe that I wanted you to, to encourage you take Psalm 11 and pray it and write it down, decree it, sing out those choruses. And I believe that that even before this night is over, that the the strength and the peace, I just I just see the peace of the Lord arising in you. And if there's anybody else that you're on, you know, YouTube or Facebook and you say the same thing, just torment, especially I, I'm getting there's a lot of people with a tormenting dreams at night. Here is your psalm. Psalm eleven. I love this psalm. And if you want to study the Psalms more, I have a new book called 30 Days of Praying the Psalms, King David's Keys for Victory. I've been singing the Psalms since 83. That's crazy. And I feel like I have longevity in my life to say the Psalms, they are equipping tools for life, equipping tools for breakthrough. You can get this on my website or you can just press that link. And we have a brand new CD, which I'm so excited about. It's a soaking CD called Psalm Diaries. It is the first five Psalms and they are very, 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 very beautiful Psalms. And The key is that you would read it, that you would write it, that you would sing it out, and that these words would just come alive on the inside of you. So anyway, amen. Hey, um, and hello, hello, Ryan. I'm kind of back here to Facebook. If you're on Facebook, press your share button so this can go out. Um, And if if you want... 
Uh, if you're interested in our online worship community, you can put your email. You can respond with your email there. We will send you uh, soaking music from the Psalms. We have a 24-7 radio, and it has over 80 over 80 hours of soaking from the Psalms. We just uploaded Psalm 70, a great Psalm. If you need God to break in today, it is hurry, hurry, make haste, do not delay, hurry, save me. Um, I just feel like there's such rich equipping tools in every single psalm. And hello, Rich! Oh my gosh, it's so... God bless you. Hello, Rich. Um, uh, so, okay, Rich, just when I said, when I said your name, I, I, uh, I just saw like this treasure chest uh, over your life, and I feel like that, that treasure chest, number one, is you. Uh, that you have a... You have got gold... You've got the treasure of purified gold and silver in the depths of your being because you said yes to God over and over and over and over. And I feel like you are that treasure, but I also see you going on a treasure hunt, Rich. And I, I see you calling out the gold in others. And... Um, I feel like it's life-changing, and, I, and I, I just see this picture. The more that you find the gold within you, that's the more you're going to see the gold in every person around you. And I, and I just hear, like, even the difficult people, you know, when it's kind of hard to see the gold, I feel like the Lord's going to show you even the difficult, you're, the difficult relationships in life, you're going to start calling the gold. You're going to start putting value upon them and helping those around you see their own value. That's good. I like that. I love that. And hello, Teresa. Um, Teresa, when I saw when I saw your name, I just I just like see wings on you, and I just see it's your season to to soar. And I, I, I get this picture of like a nest. And when the mama bird it wants to teach its eaglets to fly, it actually kicks them out of the nest. And I feel like there's some things in your life that the Lord is going to, it's going to feel like you got pushed out of the nest. Um, and so that's why I feel like this is a heads up, but it's beautiful because it's your season to fly. And if we get too comfortable in the nest, we don't want to go anywhere. And it's kind of like Song of Solomon 2, when the beloved is sitting at the banquet table and everything's wonderful. And suddenly um, her beloved, he, he goes up to the top of the mountain and he says, hey, come up here. You come with me. Um, and she's like, no, I just want to stay at the banquet table. It's so beautiful here. And so what he, and she says, you go. And, and he does. He goes and um, for a season, he withdraws his presence from her because he knows that it will stir in her a hunger to be with him wherever he is. And so, anyway, I bless you. Um, I, I bless you with that. And ha hello, Evan. And I heard some really good news, Evan. Evan's my good friend. So I just, I bless you with that. Teresa, I bless you. I bless you with that. And, and I just, I, I feel like there's people on tonight that it feels like, you know, when, when people say, you know, the door's slamming and don't let it hit you in the back of the heels as you're walking out, I feel like the Lord, the Lord is closing some doors in, in people's lives, but it's unto the next season. And again, if we enjoy that nest and everything's comfortable, you know, and you're warm and you're secure, that's always when the Lord, he likes to just kick us out of that nest so that we 
will begin to fly. It is your season tonight. If you're watching tonight, that is a prophetic word for you. It is your season to fly, not just fly, but to soar. I mean, to soar on the strong winds that normally, you know, take people out. You were made to soar on in those winds and to teach others how to soar too. And hello, Lauren and Melanie. I love this. Um, I like to say, don't scroll and roll because I want to prophesy over you or pray over you. Uh, as you get on, let me know where you're watching from. I love it when the nations get on. It's amazing. And hello, Brent and Trisha. And uh, press your share button on Facebook. On I'm on YouTube now. And hello, Paulette and Veronica and chatting. Uh, so I, I see chatting with Virgil. It says from, uh, how do you say that? Basilia, California. Um, so Virgil, I feel like um, the Lord's putting his word in your mouth. And I, I feel like you are one that guards your words. And it's beautiful. I feel like there's no empty words in your mouth. You guard your words. You are a life that is seasoned with salt. Your words are like um, just the right amount of seasoning for the right conversations. And I just, I feel like the Lord has really... Uh, He's, he's uh, been sharpening you like iron sharpens iron. Um, but there's beautiful words that you are encouraging people with. And those beautiful words are literally um, empowering and strengthening those around you from the inside out. And I just see a beautiful, I just see beautiful words that you guard your words and uh, out of the out of the heart the mouth speaks and Virgil you have a beautiful heart because of what comes out of your mouth anyway i love that that's so good and so i see Autumn Brook and i see Eugenia um, and Eugenia, I just get the picture of, I just, you know, I just saw, I know people say this, but I, I saw you going a lot of places. I think that there is a new strategy. I don't know if you're an entrepreneur, but I just see like plans from heaven and strategies from heaven and wisdom from heaven for what you're doing. But I almost see you training and equipping because I see you going from one place to another and I feel like at first it's going to be from house to house then it's going to be from church to church then it's going to be city to city state to state and I feel like God is going to use what he's already put inside of you and he's giving you language to train those that will come up behind you so that's good. Okay, this is how the prophetic word works. If I say something and you're like, I love that, then grab it because the prophetic word, it's like seeds that you throw out. And so grab it and take it as yours. So uh, anyway, I'm on tonight. I want to sing this. Yes, catch the wind. Renee, yeah, that's for you too. Renee, catch the wind. Renee, you've caught the wind. You have caught the wind, Renee. I feel like you have got, oh my gosh, I just see huge wings. I mean, almost, what do you call those dinosaurs that used to fly? <laughs> I, I see you like just a humongous um, eagle, just with these eagle -ing wings and, and, and the eyes that are so focused on the Lord, but you can see things. You can see the things of God from a great distance away. And Renee, you can see the things of God beginning to bubble up in people's lives way before they ever see it. And again, uh, I mean, I just think he's, he's taking you higher and higher and higher. And I just see a lot of little eaglets coming behind you. And I feel like uh, he's, he, he puts you in places that, that's very hard, that's normally very hard to see anything light or anything good. But those eagle eyes that he gave you, and he also made you 
I feel like you're one that always sees the glass half full. Therefore, when you when you go into a situation, even even it, it, it could be two seasons away. You can see how the Lord is forming and what he is doing. And you encourage from that place. And that is a beautiful thing. Come on. Um, Okay, and I want to pray. Trish, Trish, you said feeling lost and abandoned. And and again, on Facebook and YouTube, write out how I can pray for you. uh, Because I will pray for every single person, even when I get off. But Trish... um, Psalm 11, Psalm 11 is your psalm. Uh, Because when David, literally, his friends, they were like standing back. They, you could say he felt abandoned and literally surrounded by people that hated him. And what he did is he began to sing his meditations and he began to sing over himself. It's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. I am the one with the steadfast heart and this is my song. So if that's you tonight, Trish, I'm just, I want to sing this again because I just love it and I want to get these choruses in you and again, if you want to go deeper into the Psalms, I have a brand new devotional book called 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. You can just hit that link. It's Julie Meyer Ministries. It's Psalm 1 through 30. Uh, and it just take, it gives you equipping tools for the battle. And I also have my brand new Psalm Diaries CD. It's all soaking. And this is Psalm 1 through 5. And it's to get the Psalms in your head, in your mouth, in your heart and in your soul and I'll tell you what when you sing the Bible even if you're not a singer it doesn't matter if you sing the Bible it is a fast on ramp to get the word of God in you so that you don't just have it memorized but you actually become the word and I I can I can absolutely testify to that and I'm singing Psalm 11, a psalm of David. I believe that David wrote it down so we could sing it out. And the very same God that rescued and saved David, he delivered and healed David. It's the very same God who will do the same. He'll for you. He'll do the same for you, Brittany, and Carrie, and James, and Nancy, Jacobs, and Donna, and Leslie, and how do I say, L-I-D-I-A, George, and Michelle, every single, Danielle, and Helen, and Jody, he will do the same for you, Melody, he'll do the same, I'm going over here to YouTube, he'll do the same for you, Tiffany, and Samson, and Teresa, and Paulette, and Chancy, and is it T-A-U-N-G-A-H, Bell, uh, I, uh, however you say your name, there, there is a, a, a sound coming out of you like a bell. And I, I just, I, I, I just hear that ringing of the bell and it's a tender, tender bell, almost like those bells that are China, you know, um, and you just ring that bell. And I, I feel like your, your life reveals the kindness and the mercy of God. And you really are like that, that, like that bell. It, it's not a blast. It's not a dirge, but it's just that tender, sweet bell. And it gets people's attention and they turn around and through your life and through your kindness, they meet the kindness of God. So anyway, that's good. I love that. So if you're on Facebook, press your share. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. If you like the, these songs, check out our intotheriver.net 
It is our online worship community where we're singing our way through the Psalms. We have Psalm 1 through Psalm 70 recorded. I think now it's over 80 hours just to get these Psalms on replay so that, you know, when we sing them, I tell you, it's that that fast on-ramp so that we begin to live them. So I want to sing Psalm 11, Psalm 11, a psalm of David, when he was in danger, and his friends were saying, David, run and hide, run. They were saying, fly like a bird, just fly like a bird and hide away, hide yourself, hide away, hide away. But he didn't let fear rule his emotions. He just sang out Psalm 11 And I sing it over you tonight I sing it over you Fly away like a bird Hide away in the mountains Fly away like a bird
your rift Sing it over your birth Sing it over you, Julie I sing it over you, is it Yvanna? And I sing it over you, Deborah. Um, and Deborah, I just feel like Deborah, is it wearing? Um, I just saw the word like war, like wa- like warring. I don't know how to say your last name, but um, I, I, I just feel like you are a picture of Judges 5. Um, there, you have leadership on you. You have wisdom upon you. God has put a voice in you that people follow. You are a leader. Um, and you, you're one like Deborah who was made for seasons of battle and seasons of war. You literally, I feel like you are one, Deborah, that where most people shy away from the battle or they shy away from conflict, Deborah, you take them and go, no, we are going right into the middle of it and we're going to take care of this. We're going to fight this battle and win it. Uh, I feel like you bring those with you and... Uh, Uh, I just hear the word that you are a master at conflict resolution. And if there's anything we need in the body of Christ, it is that today. So I bless you and I want to encourage you to read Judges 4 and read Judges 5. You are a voice. I feel like God, I feel like he's used you in smaller ways, but he's going to use you in big and just in, in just some amazing ways to bring about peace when people have said there's no way that peace is going to be in that relationship, and uh, I just, I, I just see you're a Deborah. You're gonna, you're gonna lead people into the midst of the battle to fight the battle, and it is a, um, I mean, it's a, it's actually a, a beautiful and powerful thing. It's the art of conflict resolution and so I just bless you for that and I have Myra this is on Facebook if you're on Facebook press your share button if you're on YouTube press your subscribe Uh, she said pray for my family they're going through battles Um, so Lord I just lift up Myra I lift up her family to you God and I pray Psalm 11 over her family Lord I pray, Lord, I want to encourage you, Myra, to take Psalm 11 and just begin to decree Psalm 11 over your, um, over your family. And, and you can name your, name your family out by name. And this is, the, this is the thing with the Word of God, because it's alive and full of living power. It's almost like when we pray these words, they have to go forth and do what they say they will do. So it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter what people believe. I just feel like the word of God trumps all of it because it is the only word that is alive and it will not return void. And I want to encourage you, um, Myra, just to put, get, just to fill your mind with the word of God. Don't let the in. I, I, I feel like I see the enemy coming in with lots of fears. Um, and most of the time, the things we fear, um, uh, most of the time they don't happen. And we, we get all stirred up about things that are never going to happen anyway. But I just, I see the Lord just coming and setting boundary lines around your family. And I thank you, Lord, for this uh, mother, this grandmother's heart for her family. And I ask that you bless, bless it. Let her see fruit in every single one of her family, no matter where they lay their head at night. I believe that you will bring about good out of their lives. That's what I get for you. That's what I get, Myra, for your family. No matter where they lay their head at night, God will turn it around and bring good out of their life. I believe he will reveal himself in beautiful ways. Anyway, and Shalom, hello, and Carmela, and anyway, Kelly, and let me go back to YouTube, hello, YouTube, and Tiffany, um, 
Uh, and so I just pray, and a lot of people are putting prayer requests, and I love it, like, if you're watching and you see prayer requests, it's 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 how the house of prayer goes viral as we just pray for if I miss something, then you can actually just write a prayer in there. So um, we just pray for Mimi, Lord, in Jesus' name. And I ask that you, Lord, um, that you would take the steering wheel. You know, Jesus, take the wheel. We put Mimi in your hands, and we are asking Jesus that you would take the wheel, that it wouldn't be family, it wouldn't be doctors, but it would be so clear the direction, that it would be so clear that something supernatural has stepped in. And I bless you with that in Jesus' name. So anyway, amen and amen. I sang Psalm 11. Here is your chorus. I'm the one with the steadfast heart, and this is my song. This is your chorus. It's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. I am the one with the steadfast heart, and this is my song. This is your song. Psalm 11, and I just bless you with Psalm 11. If you want to go deeper in the Psalms, check out our intotheriver.net. You can press that um, or put your email in that little box. We'll send you information. That's our online worship community where we are singing our way through the Psalms. We just recorded Psalm 70, which is hurry, hurry, Lord, make Haste, do not delay. Come and save me. So check that out. You can also get my book, which is a devotional praying, 30 days of praying the Psalms. And you can actually go to my website, uh, juliemeyerministries.com and sign up for our free devotionals that go with every single chapter of this book. And I, I do some soaking in there so that you will have a chorus for all 30 songs. And then uh, we also have a brand new CD, which I love, uh, which is Psalm Diaries. And it's the first five psalms where I'm just singing the word. And I just believe in these. I believe these are the equipping tools that I have strengthened my life with since the early 80s. And I feel like I have longevity in my life now to say, you know what? The Psalms, they're already prayers and they work. They worked for David. They worked for me and they are going to work for you. So I just want to put the life lessons that I have learned out of the word of God into your hands. So anyway, amen and amen. I will be on again this Tuesday, uh, probably around 5.30 or 6 p.m. Pacific time. So I bless you and I will say au revoir if I can turn on.